everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make origami sunglasses. And these are just really cute and fun. Not super practical for obvious reasons, but you could use them as some fun decoration for a summer party or I don't know. I'm sure you could think of something. So for this, you're actually going to just use a piece of eight and a half by 11 rectangular paper. This is a little bit different from what we usually do, which is square paper. So I'm just using a normal sheet of copy paper, except I decided to use this fun sort of green instead of just white. So you can use whatever kind of paper, whatever, whatever color paper you have. You can even use construction paper. That would work too. Okay. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold one corner to the other like this. And you just have to line up the point because literally nothing else lines up. It's just the point. It's kind of a weird fold that you're not used to doing if you normally fold with square paper. Because as you can see, this edge doesn't line up and that edge doesn't line up. It's just the point. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this edge here and you're gonna fold it over like that and all of your edges here actually will line up so you end up with this mirrored image mirrored image here like that okay so now i'm gonna unfold it and as you can see you've got three valley folds and one mountain fold and the crease the line that's half mountain half valley is a diagonal and what you're gonna do is just fold it over on that line so now all of your folds are gonna go the same way if you were to unfold it which you don't need to you just need to leave it like this so now we have the paper folded on the diagonal as you can see here so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this edge, this crease that you just made, and you're gonna fold it up to this point here where the two triangles meet. And there will be a crease right here down the middle. And you wanna line up this line here in the middle with that crease, just like that. And I wouldn't go quite to the point because we're gonna be doing this fold several times and it'll move the paper a little bit further each time. So you just don't want to go past it. Okay, so then you're gonna take this edge that you just created here and fold up one more time, just like this. And so, so when you're folding this up, you are just gonna to wanna to make sure that your paper doesn't slip and go further than you want it to so that you still have a nice straight line there. Okay, and then you're gonna take this edge here and fold it one last time. And as long as it doesn't go past the little valley here, then it's all good. It doesn't, you're not doing it again, so that's the only thing you really need to worry about. Okay. And this is a lot of layers to be folding through. So you're gonna to need to use quite a bit of pressure to make sure you get a nice crease. Maybe use something like a piece of silverware or a credit card or something that's stiff that you could use as a creaser. I forgot to grab something, otherwise I would show you. But all you need to do is get a nice sharp crease there. Okay, so you can kind of see Sunglasses starting to take shape a little bit. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold the sides in. So this is a little subjective. Doesn't You can kind of fold it in as far as you want to. I like to fold it to right where this little corner here is. So just fold it to there and just straight over. And again, this is even more layers. So if you've got that creaser, be sure to use it here. Okay, and then you're gonna do the same thing over here on this side. And however far you folded it, 
On the other side, you just wanna make it the same so that your side pieces and your sunglasses are the same length. All right. So just make sure all of your layers are lined up and you can flatten everything down. All right, now we're almost done. The last step is to just take the corners, the bottom corners of these triangles here and fold them just a little bit so you got a, a flat edge. You can, again, this is another step that's pretty subjective, just as far as you think will look good. Just like that. And then, there you go. You are, your paper sunglasses are completed. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.